practice some roses using some different colors. And one of the things I like to do is take my three quarter inch flat brush, pick up citrus green and wicker white, working this in. See how I'm working, working, working this brush. A little bit of medium. I barely dip into this. I don't have my double loader. I should have my double loader today, but I'm gonna start with what I wanted you to see. So see, I'm wiggling in and out. All right, so as I'm, I keep coming every stroke and picking up more paint. Come here and get a little bit more paint. See the white, it's really pure white on the edge. So when I overlap, it shows well. This is happy green. It's not citrus green. This is all multi-surface paint. I want you to see that I'm going to layer my bud and the bud gets laid on right on top and we're talking wet on wet. And so if you see when I come here, I pick up paint, I'm right here, right here. Pick up paint. Then I'm gonna come right around here and do a second layer. And then one, two, three. So I'm gonna put some leaves up on that, but these are a couple of strokes that I'm sharing with you. One is we're gonna go down, up, down. Okay, then some other strokes is we put right here the chisel, we lean the white out, lean the white out, and lift. Same thing here, touch, push, touch, push. I was gonna show you this paper that I'm using or these pads that I sell at onestroke.com. And they are, sorry, these are uh, black, um, drawing pads, but they work for many other, their multimedia pads. So it's a nine by 12, there's 40 sheets and they're 92 pound paper. So it doesn't wrinkle up. But what's cool is that these pull in and out of your book. Okay. And so you can put them back in if you want and they have a perforated line too. So lots of cool fun things with this pad. All right, so here's your bud up and over. And then we're gonna come right here and make a U. But see, I'm getting dry. So I'm gonna get dipped a little bit of medium and I can do a little bit larger U that I did. Now, when I come here, I'm leaning the white out and chisel leaning the white out and chisel. So those are the strokes I want you to practice for this. Okay. Now let's look at, let's go over here and we're gonna pick up some of the violet pansy and white. Okay, so I wanna get, I'm gonna tell you different things. I'm gonna say two thirds or three fourths. So I work this to three fourths violet pansy and one fourth white. All right. So we can start here and then come back up. Then I come back over here. So I did two strokes. All right, that's the third stroke. Then we come out, pressure, lift, pressure, lift, and slide. I can also put a little thin slide in here. Okay, we're coming right here. And if you, if you go on my website, onestroke.com, there's all kinds of um, different 
stroke studies that you can learn, skill builders, skill builders. And skill builders can just be the rose skill builder. Or it can be a sunflower and different flowers. So check those out. They're three hour lessons and a workbook. And you do these repetitive strokes in my workbook. So it's called a skill builder. All right. So I'm going to keep coming over here and picking up more paint. And I'm just picking up all the white on the other outside edge. And so I'm going to come here. I want you to work on looser waves out here. So usually we do a scrubbing motion and I do this or just do a shell like that. So I want you to see that they're looser and you'll get a lot prettier rows um, that are more current looking if we just do that loose wave. So I'm gonna show you that we're doing a pretty color. We're doing nice petals. All right. And then we have to do a second layer. So every time I come over here, I'm picking up paint. Now somewhere in here below that outside edge, I'm going to do the upper part. It's like over the mountain, over the hill. And then I'm gonna come right here and try doing this. Try do a little bit of wiggle and roll it inside. All right, so then I'm right back here where I started. And we're gonna come around for a second layer. And that second layer starts right where you start, uh, started and each of the strokes uh, of the bud. See right there? Started right there. Now, now what this does, it gives you the place for the second row to stage in from the outside row. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come right in here and slide across. Look, slide across, which means you lift up the violet pansy edge and lift it up lift it up and just drag the white over so there we go come out here and then pull them in there so I can also come out here with another one and then go back and put this one back in. Isn't that kind of nice? Just different rows of petals. I can see now that this one right here needed, it has some dry edges. So I could go out there and put that there. All right, so these are good practices. Um, what you would do with this right here when it's a half of a rose like this, you're going to come back and get some sap green and happy green. Work it back and forth, dip into the medium. I can even grab a little bit of white. All right. And I can come right in here. Okay, and then pull the stem. All right, so you just come right out here. And then you pull the stem. See how pretty that is, that band? All right. So now I can also pick up white and some lavender. Let's get a little bit more violet pansy. I said lavender, but it's violet pansy. All right, isn't that kind of pretty with the lavender colors? Okay. So 
just remember we're going to go do a Y. One, two, I'm going to pick up a little bit of purple. Two, three, scrub, and then stand up. One, two, three, scrub, and stand up. And then you just pull your stem inside. All right, so those are great practice strokes. Practice, practice and share it on our, uh, our Facebook group, which is Donna G. Berry's official one-stroke group. Also, if you want to become a better one-stroke artist, join One Stroke Advantage right here. It's a membership right here on this site um, on my YouTube channel. All right, I would love to see you there. Until next time, keep painting.